everybody. So, so you can see the bus. It's looking amazing. You can see all the way down. We got one skylight in the back. We got another one's gonna go here. So what we're about to do, and I know you can see all this rust on the floor. It's bad in some spaces, it's not bad in others, but we're gonna go through and spray what is called core seal. And we're gonna spray basically everything that is metal that we don't want to be exposed. So basically this stuff sprays on white, starts to convert, it's a chemical reaction that occurs, and when it's done, it will be black. When everything is cured and it's very strong, and it's at its strongest that it'll be basically, it'll be primed and it will be black. So Karen and I are about to go to the back, I'm gonna fill these bottles up, and then we're spraying. So, I went to the back of the RV and poured core seal into two spray bottles and began spraying. Almost immediately, Taryn's spray bottle broke and she had to go and get another one or try to figure out a way to fix the situation. She came back on by the time I was refilling and we kept spraying. So you can see us in the video pretty much spraying everything that's metal. So the core seal can actually be sprayed, rolled, or brushed on, and it's an amazing product as long as you get it thick enough. Somewhere along the line, the two of us just decided to pour the core seal and finger paint. We took it straight back to kindergarten, but it actually worked really well. We were allowed to get a nice thick coat, um, you know, around wherever we were applying, so it was pretty nice. We saw we missed a spot, and so Taryn had to go Spider Woman for a moment show off that core strength. So this is us just wrapping up the end. We're getting really close to the front to the cockpit section uh, where it got pretty rusty over under the driver's seat. So I spend a little bit of time in the driver's seat making sure that there's a nice heavy coat over there. Now that all this rust remediation is finished, it was time to lay the subfloor. Before we could put the vapor barrier down, we needed to patch all of the holes that were left from the old seats. So we unrolled the vapor barrier, which was a pretty thick milled black plastic, and then we began to lay two by four studs to float on top of the plastic. While floating those two by fours, we laid one and a half inch R-Max rigid foam to provide the rest of the base which would go underneath the plywood subfloor. So we install strand board as it's a cheaper plywood and it's, and it's really what's supposed to be used for a subfloor. So look how far we've come. I mean it really was a really nasty place earlier and now we got an awesome thing. Hey, if you're vibing what we're doing, please subscribe to what we're doing. Okay, Follow us on Instagram at Dream Team Life. We post a lot of pictures and a lot of videos there.